I am one of a trio of co-founders of Upaya Social Ventures. Uh, Upaya is a young nonprofit, about two and a half years old at this point. And what we do is we create dignified jobs for the ultra poor in India. And we genuinely believe that the key to solving extreme poverty is not a handout, but it's really giving somebody the opportunity to earn a dignified living and provide for themselves and their families in a way that uh, allows them to live their lives in a way that they see fit. We believe in giving them opportunities. Take, for example, Poonam Devi here. Poonam lives up in Bhagalpur in Bihar. Quick show of hands, anybody know where Bihar is? A handful of you do. Bihar is uh, widely known as one of the uh, poorest and most corrupt states in India. Um, there is an old joke that you can find Biharis anywhere but Bihar because the migration patterns out of the state are so strong. Uh, Poonam and her husband uh, were not so lucky as to leave Bihar. They live with their five children in a two-room shack uh, outside the town called Bhagalpur. Um, the only work they can regularly get is hauling stone or water on construction sites where uh, it usually pays about a dollar a day, and to tell the truth, they don't get work every day. They only get work most a few days a week. Um, adding insult to injury, though, both Poonam and her husband come from a long tradition of silk weaving. Uh, tusser silk, which is very common in this region, it's a very fine, sort of coppery, strong silk. Beautiful stuff. Um, Poonam had been taught by her mother, who had been taught by her mother, how to weave silk in the traditional manner. Um, she was quite adept at it, but unfortunately, there was really no market for her products. Um, she could spend weeks weaving a sari and maybe sell it for about $10. This is extraordinarily frustrating. She has the skill and doesn't have any opportunity to make a livelihood out of it. And you know, in their worst days, when they're struggling really one meal a day, they do so with the knowledge that in a big city somewhere, is a sari that they wove and sold to a middleman for $10, retailing for somewhere around $200. So it's an extraordinarily difficult situation for her. And this is where Ravi Chandra comes into it. Ravi is another native Bihari uh, who is from the Bhagalpur area and had an idea for how he could help this community that he knew so well. Um, Ravi had been working, running an NGO in the area that was handing out food and trying to provide some stable livelihood on the side. But he really saw this as an opportunity to build a business that could provide a viable market for women like Poonam to, to participate and make weaving their livelihood. Um, unfortunately for Ravi, he was too big for microfinance. The microfinance in India kind of caps out around $800. Ravi needed about 20000 which is far below what a venture capitalist or a bank would invest in. And this is really where Upaya came in. We worked with Ravi to set up a company called Echo Cargo. We provided him the seed capital, and then our team worked closely with him to launch that company, get it off the ground, and is currently employing not just Poonam, but 50 women just like her. Um, it's really remarkable what this team has been able to accomplish so far off that initial investment in working with these 50 women, they've already brought in $200,000 in orders to the company. So it's not just a livelihood, and it's not just an opportunity, but it's one that is going to be there for the foreseeable future because it's part of a company that's continuing to grow. Um, this is really Poon's first stable job, and it has tripled the household income. Not only does this mean the family is eating a far more nutritious and varied diet, but her children are now back in school instead of having to periodically work to help the family make ends eat. Um, and all of this is because of the jobs Ravi has created. So in Hindi, Upaya very simply means solution. And what we're really about is creating business solutions that permanently end the extreme poverty that women like Unum find themselves living in. We have a team in India, 30 years of collective experience working in communities like this one. And we have a pretty fat pipeline of businesses that we'd love to support in this, in this process. Um, we know that the others we're looking at can do the same for their communities that Ravi did for his. 
Um, and on average, like I said, it takes somewhere in that $25,000 range for us to create hundreds of jobs for those who need it most. So, at this moment, how can you help? I do. That's right. How, what we're going to do. What we're going to do is try in the next year to double our portfolio. Uh, go from the three businesses we're currently working with to uh, six in total create the dignified jobs, and we're also committed to reporting on the metrics and the outcomes of our work. And now I will get to how you can help. It's actually quite simple. Just skip one cup of coffee a week. One latte or cappuccino, it might not make our neighbors in Seattle very happy, but that $5 a week, $20 a month, $240 a year can create a dignified job for a woman like Puno. Um, so we have launched this month our Pass Up a Cup campaign and are asking everybody to join with us in making this commitment. Um, skip just one coffee a week, sign up with us today to uh, make a recurring monthly donation and with that we'll have the opportunity to create the jobs where they are needed most. I know I'm running out of time here. I'll simply leave it at this. Upaya is a very small and lean organization that does big things with very scarce resources. And it's uh, through the Pass Up a Cup campaign. You can join us for just a little bit and do great things together. So thank you very much.